in this question we have to count the number of occurrence of a word in a given string using java 8 and trust me this question has been asked in deloitte mdocs ey pwc and many more other companies so watch this video till the end and i'm going to show you how to solve this question using java 8 hey guys welcome to code decode so in this video we are going to see some java 8 programming interview questions so let's get started so our first question is we have to find the duplicates element in a given list of integer using stream functions so we have given a list of integer and we can clearly see that 10 and 28 are a duplicates element and we have to find this duplicate element using stream function basically this question is very commonly asked at facial level and at lateral level for the candidates who are having experience of one to two years so let's jump into the workspace and see how we can do it okay so here we have already a list of integer now we have to figure out the duplicates element so what we will do is first we will create a set of integer in which we will store the duplicate element and then we will print that duplicate element so first we will create a set of integer now we will uh, apply a stream operation over our input list and after that we will filter this list in order to save all the duplicates element in a set so how we will do it we will apply filter so basically uh, <clears throat> this is an intermediate operation and it takes predicate as their argument so what is predicate what is intermediate operation all these videos are already uploaded on our channel you can uh, check on the link in the description so here first we will do it what we will do is we will add all this element into a set and let's see what happens if we will print it so for printing we will use for each operation and uh, uh, using system not out of print x so we are collecting this all this filter into a for each which is basically a terminal operation it takes a consumer so we are printing all the element using this condition so let's see what happens if we will print all. so here we are printing all the unique element but our question was to print all the duplicates element uh, this this condition will return false because it will check whether this element is present in a set or not if this is present it will return a false so by negating the false we are making it true and we are we will collect those element which is duplicate so let's save it and let's print it so as you can see we are printing 10 28 80 and 80 so we have added 80 multiples time so it is checking 80 multiple times and it is printing it so it is not printing the set values it is printing this filter value so we need all the duplicates element but we don't need the duplicate of duplicate element so for removing that what we will do is we will collect this into a set and then we will print it so how to collect this so we will op apply collect operation and in that collect operation we will use collectors dot to set so now let's check it now you can see we have collected all the duplicates element in this set and we were printing this set using this for each terminal operations so let's move to second question uh, we have to write a program uh, which will multiply two number but using functional interface so this is also one of the common interview question for the functional interface in java 8 so let's see how we can do it so in our iq package first we have to create a functional interface so how to create it first we will create an interface and we will name it name it f interface and now uh, <clears throat> we will use annotation at the rate function interface to make it a function interface and we will create one uh, <clears throat> abstract method that is public int multiply and we will take two argument int a comma b so now let's use this functional interface as a reference in our main method so f interface and the name of the reference is total let's take a comma b now we are using lambda function to return our expression so our expression is a asterisk b which is basically the multiplication of two given number so now let's print this so we will take the total reference and we will call the multiply method 
and now we will pass the number let's say 6 comma 7 so 6 7 is a 42 so let's check it and see whether it is printing 42 yes we are it is printing 42 okay now let's jump into the other question uh, what's the difference between limit and skip explain using example so the limit method is an intermediate operation that returns a stream not longer than the requested size also the parameter which we are passing inside the limit method can't be negative similarly the skip method is another intermediate operation and that discard the first n element of the stream also n the parameter n can't be negative and if the n is higher than the size of the stream then the skip method will return you an empty stream so let's uh, see how we can uh, explain this using an example so we have an we have already created a list of integer so first we will create a stream of this list using the stream function and now i'm going to apply limit method and i want to print only this list till 36 so first we will first i will count the index so 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so i will pass here 7 and i am going to print this list to see whether my limit function is working properly or not so here you can see that using the limit function i have limited my list till 36 so now I will comment this and now I will going to show you how you can demonstrate the skip operation. Again, I'm going to create the stream and I'm going to apply skip. So now I have to skip this list till 36 and I have to print only 77, 78 and 79. So again, I will pass 7 as my argument in the skip method and I'm going to print it. Now let's run this code. Okay, so we have successfully printed 77, 78, and 79. So for to cross check, let's change the argument of this list and again print it. Okay, so it is running perfectly fine. So in this way, you can demonstrate this question using practical example. So let's move to another question. In this question, we have to count the number of occurrence of a word in a given string using Java. So we have an input string uh, says welcome to code decode and code decode welcomes you. So here we have to count the number of occurrence of each word. So uh, this can be done using map because uh, we are treating each word as a key and uh, their occurrence as a value. So this is very trickiest question. So please be with me till end. So now let's jump into the coding section. So here we have an uh, input string. First, we will convert this input string into the list of string which contain each word separately. So first declare string list and to convert this string into a list we will use arrays utility and as list function and here we will split this string using space now i'm going to open up a stream so our main agenda is we have to create a map uh, which takes each word as a key and their occurrence as a value so first open up a stream and now collect all this uh, <clears throat> list in such a way that uh, we will get a map and, uh, and in that map uh, the key would be each word and the value would be the occurrence of that word so how we will do it first i will code and then i will explain you So here we are using collectors dot grouping by. So this grouping by function is similar as group by clause in SQL. If you have known SQL, you know that uh, group by clause will collect all the similar element and it will return the count. Okay. So here it will take two arguments. First is the function and second is the count. So what the function is function we have already covered in our previous video uh, links. Links are already given in the description. So function identity comma collectors dot counting. Okay. 
so let me give you a small example of function what function will do is function will uh, using its static method called identity and this identity will return whatever we are passing in this identity so let me explain to you with the help of example so function string comma string fn is equal to function dot identity fn dot apply so now whatever i will pass in this uh, identity function it will return me the same so let's pass hello and now let's run it so it will print hello let's pass hi so it will print hi so what happen what is happening here is it is collecting each word so first it will collect welcome so uh, it return us welcome and then it will return the count of the welcome in this uh, <clears throat> list of string so the count will be 2 then it will connect 2 and then it will return the count of 2 then it will collect code then it will collect decode and in this way so a java coding part is completed now in order to achieve the output <clears throat> Uh, what would be the so yeah so in order to achieve output like this we have to uh, get all the values in the form of map and the key would be our uh, values of all the list and the value of this map would be the number of occurrence of that uh, uh, keys in the in that list so let's see what this collect function is returning so this collect function is returning a map of string and long and uh, let's declare a map of string comma long and name it as map and now we will try to print it and let's see what this map is returning to us so i'm going to run this code so as you can see we have got our output as expected so in this way you can uh, solve this question so that's it for today's video so if you want us to make more videos like this please uh, let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please like share and subscribe thank you